Hello, hello, hello. It's Why Not Wednesday. Sarah is frantically packing orders from Friday and Monday. So you have me tonight. I thought I would do a journal play. As you can probably tell, I am addicted to my new journals. So Sarah has um, these journals as um, each designer has one. So Olga, uh, Claire, myself, and Zinsky. And so each of us have our own journals uh, that we designed. Our, well, our own journals. We designed our own covers. And um, so when they're gone, they're gone. So if you want one of these, I suggest you hop onto the website and get yourself one now. Um, so it's a limited edition. I have been playing in my journal and I've got some rather nice uh, color combos. I will be using sprays tonight to show you how well they handle um, a liquid. Um, these were sprays. In fact, all these backgrounds that I've created here were sprays. Um, this was a live I did using Olga's designs. And tonight it's going to be my steampunk feather crew. And I'm not sure which stencils, probably all of them. And let's see where this takes us. Hello, hello, hello. I see Liz. If you are in, like, I can see a lot of you are in um, YouTube, which is great. I can immediately see um, your names. And I know that that is you, Brian, in Facebook, because I see Guten Tag, lovely, and everyone. And you've put your name in brackets. Yes, <laughs> because you know StreamYard and Facebook, they are not um, always cooperating and so yes it should say at the top of you uh, facebook um if you want your name to appear it's just for me backstage everybody else can see um the names on the screen so really don't worry i can see your your comments um thank you for sharing um good evening donna Lindsay, uh jan we've got a whole lot of um Yes, Jan, actually, your name, Jan Buckley, is actually showing up. How ridiculous is that? So um, <laughs> you just never know. Hello, Crafty I Am. How are you, Ida? Peapods saying hello to everybody. So we are a great crew of people tonight. And I'm going to start by making my background. And then we're going to stamp and stencil and build the layers. So I'm a bit of a technique junkie. Um, our Sarah is, of course, the less is more. And I I really admire how she can do those very simple cards, those clean and simple cards. And I always have to have the ink, the stencils, the layers, the, oh, you know, I have to have it all. So we're going to start with, um, I'm going to have some peacock feathers with uh, distress ink at the top. Then I'm going to spray at the bottom. So how I work in this journal, because spraying is messy, I actually leave a page in between each um, page that I do, and then I glue them together later. So I can actually glue these two together already because these pages are done. Um, so I am going to... First do my inking, and then I'm going to slot some paper in between to protect. And, of course, I'm using the Funky Fossil brushes, which are just delicious. And I'm going to get some ink. So what I do with this to get the ink in there is I just tip my page up so that I can get into those grooves between the rings. Then once I've done that, then it doesn't matter. Then I can come down. And I'm basically just trying to get some color on the page. And this ink pad is old, so I'm having to really give it a good old scrub to get the ink off. And if you get some dark and light patches, well, it doesn't matter at this stage because it's going to get sprayed with water. And you won't see that at the end. Um, 
Yes. So pea pods, that is my trick. Um, I only use every second page in my in my books. And that is something that I used to do when I was in South Africa. I only ever used to use ring bound books. I must admit with the non ring bound books, I do do every page, but um, I have I, my personal preference is every second page. So, and these books have got so many pages in them that really doing every second page is fine. Now, I'm going to just turn this upside down because I'm right handed and it's just easier. So, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to bump it up there, get my ink in between. So, I don't normally do this combo, but I thought it would be fun to do something different to get the color down on the page and so you can see how it works differently so it's a little bit tedious but a juicier ink pad would definitely go a lot faster but be that as it may I'm almost done so there we go. I'm officially almost happy. <laughs> almost. Is one ever really happy with what one has done? That is a loaded question. I think all of us are our own harshest critics. I think anybody else looking at what we do or have done think we're amazing. But of course, we notice every ink splat that shouldn't be or whatever it is so we are so busy looking at critically at our work that we don't realize that actually sometimes it's pretty awesome not that i'm calling what i've done so far awesome but i'm just pointing out that we are all the harshest critics um so right oh i'm busy putting my ink away in the wrong drawer not a good idea Right, so now that I have got that, I am going to, and this is just an old breakfast cereal box from back in the day when my son still used to have cereal for breakfast before school. Um, and the other thing I'm going to do is pop some paper towel underneath here. And um, so I've got, I've got one of those giant rolls of I think they're meant for workshops um, giant roll under my desk so I'm just popping that in there so that the overspray doesn't go through there and then what I'm going to do is just come build a little it's like building my own spray booth so I'm just taking that and I'm putting it in front of me because otherwise I will land up with my camera and everything sprayed and then you guys won't see a thing so now that I've got that down, oh, and of course now I've covered my inks. So I have got some Mermaid Lagoon and some Blueprint Sketch here. So I'm going to give both up a shake. Um, I do keep a brush for each color, and I do wash my brushes. So that brush that you that I used tonight was a washed brush. Um, so yes, you can absolutely wash your brushes. Um, what I have got that I do not wash though is I have got um, one of each of the big guys as I call these ones for my um, permanent inks so my VersaFine Clear and these ones I don't wash I just keep them carefully on one side um, and use those through my stencils when I want something permanent um, yeah so what I'm going to do is I will I have this wonderful inky piece of roller towel and I will have that ready on the side. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray one side over here. I'm going to splat the page over and roll. And then so what I want is the oxide first over there. And then I'm going to, this is also an oxide, but it's the darker one. I always work from light to dark. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add, 
a whole lot of water so that it will blend. So you can see I have ground the page. You can actually see my light reflecting on it. You can see how well these handle water. And now I'm going to splat my page over and do what I call the Diane Reevey trick, which is to use your roller towel, paper towel, as your ink press. Now we need to get the pages apart again. Ta-da! Okay. Now, because I can see that I've got runny ink over there, I'm just going to help it into those corners there we go and take some of this down here so that it's not such a stripe at the bottom i normally go dark around my edges anyway but there you go so you can actually use a combo of your normal inks and your sprays to get a really nice background now comes the somewhat boring part where we have to actually blow dry. Um, so I will just get this. Oh, and of course I have now, let's just unhook this. You know, it's like spaghetti junction. How do wires get tangled up by themselves? Of course, I'm the guilty party. I plugged my phone charger in through the cable of my of my dryer um so yes one spray for two pages it's a really quick and easy technique and i find it just so satisfying and you can absolutely see how you can really drench the paper and it will it will cope and you can see it hasn't gone through i've got a little bit of um a mess there where um it over sprayed but you can also see that the paper doesn't go all wrinkly crinkly um like a simba chip oh no i think simba is south africa what do you have overseas with arts i don't know let's not do some free advertising for anybody else but you can see even though it was so wet look how quick that was it's dry already so next this is the fun part we are going to do, so I'm going to have my, I think I'm going to use the peacock tonight. So he is going to be, I think I'll have him on this side over here. So he's going to be there like that. Um, and yes, so then what glue do I prefer? Well, um, I use, so Caroline's asking what glue do I prefer to glue my pages together. I have, I have various glues that I use, a, a, a craft glue, so just a white, um, a white glue, um, PVA glue. I have just got my new toy of the, um, this glue press, um, and I must say that is my new favorite thing because it is always ready on my desk. That is just me. It's my new toy. Um, so it is normally the Nuvo glue inside. It has a finer nozzle on it. But so this is um, also what I use, just the normal Nuvo glue, glossy accents, whatever I have on my desk. Um, and I just run. I, in fact, I can show you guys at the end when I'm done. So that is where I'm going to have my peacock. And now I need some textures and other things going on in the background. And um, so what other things? I've got these numbers. I've got those. This, this stencil I like to use for my edges, for my borders. And then I've got this. And I think this kind of... I was looking for things that kind of mimicked the feathers or I don't know what um, something in, in the peacock. Um, and Addie's saying oxides are pretty robust. They're a mix of pigment and dye. Yes, they are. Um, good evening, Sarah. Nice to have you here. Um, 
And Ali saying you don't want to contaminate your distress ink pads with oxide brushes or foams. You'll ruin the distress ink pad. It's you will yes. So you can go from distress ink into oxide, but not the other way around. Um, so yes, we are all having a <laughs> yes. It's a dye ink, not a die ink. Well, if you go the other way around, it will die. So I get where you're going with that. Okay, so I want to have this in the background. So what do I need to do here is I need to build myself a little protection. And for that, I'm going to use, I keep my um, packaging and I am going to just use my packaging to be a water mask because now what I'm going to do is I'm going to spritz through my stencil with water okay and then I'm going to use my roller towel again and I'm going to collect the water with the ink so it will give a resist and for some reason my my spray, and now it's not really doing it, my spray has developed a squeak. So you, you want just a light mist. You really don't want to be drowning it. Where there are big dots, that's not the end of the world. I'm not overly phased by that. So I'm just looking to see if I've got enough. I don't want it leaking underneath, and that's exactly what it's doing. So enough water, enough. And then what I'm going to do is do the same thing, and I'm going to just roll over the top like that. In fact, I can lift the stencil because I can see the water is misbehaving underneath. It'll just give more of a texture. And in fact, that's actually given me, that wasn't dark enough to pick up my, pick up my water. So we will just do it again. So we will do it down here. We will overlap that, let's see overlap try and get it to you well seeing as it's already started with that let's just do this let's spritz the stencil and print with water on the stencil because obviously that's how it wants to roll tonight so we'll roll with it so i'm going to spritz the stencil so all I've done is now got a wet stencil. Can you see the water droplets on there? Yes, you can. And now I'm going to print with my stencil into the ink. So I'm just lining it up with what was there. And we give it a roll. And lift it up. And then I'm going to lift the water. There we go. Now we have a nice pattern. Okay. It's not big. This is art journaling. This is what it's all about. Relax. Have fun. If it decides to have a mind of its own, well, just let it be. So I want to have that there. So up here, I'm going to have to do something darker. Um... Oh, thanks, Caroline. The peacock is, um, yes, it is nice to colour. And that's why I've gone with these blues and so on tonight. Um, because, well, then he's already coloured. It's kind of a bit of a cheat. But now, because we have this misbehaving stencil, what I'm going to do is I'm going to line it up over here. And I'm going to get out the same brush as I was using earlier. In fact, now we can get rid of all this protection so let's just remove that because it's not pretty and that's better so you can get rid of that and going to play with the stencil up here and now i need and of course i put it away so i'm going to get my ink out again now I'm going to ink through my stencil, so it's going to be a reverse. So we will have the negative down there, which I achieved with the water. 
And then up here we will have. Oh, Sarah, is your internet being silly? I just hope mine behaves. It has been behaving for quite a few days. Right. So I can hold it still and I can lift it up and I can see how we're doing. Ah, oh, I like that. I'm going to come on down here. So it's the dark on the dark. Yes, I like that. That works. And I'm going to repeat that on this side over here. So I'm going to line it up with the top because that's what that was. And go over here. Whenever I do art journals, I do double spreads. It's just how I roll. Um, you don't have to do a double spread by all means. But I find the way that I inked this background just makes life so much easier. And it's so quick and easy that doing double spreads is easy. So I'm just bringing ink down there. I think I need a bit more ink on my brush. There we go. So now I have my design in three places. So I always work in odd numbers because it's visually more pleasing. So it's called a visual triangle. So you have one, two, three places. I know that this is a reverse of that, but visually your eye um, will, excuse the pun, join the dots. <laughs> and that was totally unintended. And um, so you then have the three areas where you have circles. So now we're going to stamp Mr. Peacock. And where did I put my stamp platform? Who knows? But I'm going to stamp in, I think I'm going to stamp in very dark blue. Because you don't always have to stamp in black. We do tend to stamp in black. Um, the left side looks like a road. <laughs> um, we do tend to stamp in black because I think when inks first came out, that's pretty much all there was. Okay, well, so much for... Where did I put my envelope that they were in? No idea. There's the envelope, but no stamp platform. Oh, Bermuda Triangle of my own creation. And I've only been going for 20 minutes. <laughs> But we have another stamp platform where that one came from. So let's pop him on there. And so I'm just going to make sure that even though I turn it over, that this is not going to be in the way. No, it's not. So I'm going to ink him up. Yes, the peacock would make a great pendant, Brian. And I see Brian's hopped over to <laughs> YouTube. In YouTube, I don't know why YouTube doesn't ask to need your name. It's the same. I'm working through StreamYard so that I can stream in more than one place. And YouTube doesn't require permission, but Facebook does. How bizarre. So I see most of you have hopped over to YouTube. Okay, so now I've inked that up. Good. And now I have to do CPR because this is a really big stamp. So I'm just holding it to the light so that I can see that I have got ink everywhere. And I'm going to stand up and do CPR. And a one, and a two, and a three. I don't think that was counted properly for CPR. But anyway, it's a long time since I did my course. Maybe I should have a refresher. And ta -da! I do like the blue on the blue. For me, that just, um, it's less harsh. It goes with the bird. Um, now I'm just going to use my cotton rag. So this is just a cotton tea towel. It doesn't drop lint everywhere. And um, just getting rid of the ink. I'm. I'm not cleaning the stamp. I am just making sure that whatever's left on there is not going to have a residue and mess on everything else. 
Um, so, yes, Peapods, we all have a lifetime of craft stuff. I always say I don't need anything else, and then I find myself in my local craft store, and yes, well, we all know how that ends, don't we? So I'm going to just pop these guys back in there. I've just got these little plastic envelopes for them because I find it easier than in and out the packaging. Um, okay, so now where to from here? I have also got on my desk this numbers stencil that I quite like, but I shouldn't have put my stamps away just yet because I want the sentiment. So the sentiment is, why blend in when you were made to stand out? Um, the other thing is it has, so you can say, um, be proud, um, so proud of you, uh, be brave, um, and there's be afraid and do it anyway. So there's lots of ways you can use these different words. And so one thing that I did think of that we could do is I have my letters, which are now buried. Okay, so here we go. So what if, what if, see now we start the what if game. What if we put that there like so? So I'm lining that along the bottom of my page. And I have to, and this is why I keep them in here because mine are so well used. I need to give it a wash and then they will stick again. They got in some embossing powder and now they don't stick. So they're full of embossing powder on the back. I need to go and give them a wash. Um, so what I need to do is I want to say proud. And of course, I've got all the word. I've, I keep, this is why I've got two. I keep happy birthday on here for my cards and you need two for this. You can get happy out of one set. Um, but you can't get happy birthday because I didn't do two A's. I did two P's. I did two S's for Christmas. So I thought of individual words, but then I didn't think of like starting to make whole phrases. So I want the word proud and that P's been, but I think, um, and that P's gone, but I think this one still has it. There we go. We have, and now we have to do it backwards. Remember P. R O U D. That D's gone. But that one's there. There we go. Uh, P Pods is asking Do you never clean your stamps? Just wipe off the excess ink. I know some people wash every time, but I usually just wipe like me. I, um, I don't wash unless I am going to be using um, clear embossing ink um, or um, changing one of the to a lighter color. So then I might clean that I can see I have used with um, distress oxide. So I will definitely perhaps spritz this with water. But um, I don't normally clean with chemicals, for want of a better description. What I'm trying to do is fit in the D. And this is where my dyslexic brain... Okay, this needs to go up slightly. Okay, so proud, that works. Okay, so I'm just going to check that this is clean. So I'm going to just spritz it with water because I'm sure that those were used with oxides and I just want to make sure that um, 
Yes, so you see that has come a whole lot cleaner. So and I'm going to use the turquoise ink. So warm breeze. I used paradise to stamp the bird and so I'm trying to get so he's he he was a circle so I'm now going to talk you through my thought process he was a circle which is what made me look for the circle st stencil and then I have set the word proud in a circle but I have set it around him so that it is the same shape and I'm going to put it over here so that there is um something on this page that can lead your eye over so I'm going to stamp that um Yes, so Peapods is saying when she first started stamping years ago, she used Stamp Cleaner Solution and some of her stamps disintegrated. So I think it was a solution. Yes, I I only use the solution um, if I have, I don't know. In fact, I, very, I can't tell you when I use the solution. I've had a bottle of solution for 100 years. <laughs> what I do use actually is just plain alcohol. You know, the... The alcohol that uh, we all have liters of because of COVID. Um, so now I just want to, this page has curled up from the blow drying. So I'm just going to help it sit a bit flatter. It's just paper. Tell it who's boss. There we go. Now it's sitting nice and flat. So, um, yes, warm water. But if you have, um, so these, for example, which are permanent, if you've used any of the oil-based inks, you um, can use the alcohol. Um, oh, I just touched that. So let's just make sure that I have got enough ink everywhere because I don't know what section of that I've touched. Yacking away and not looking at what I'm doing. Would you hate a to work? Um, don't know. Probably whiskey. <laughs> Hand gel. Hand gel will also work. Um, so, because a lot of the hand gels have alcohol in as well, but I don't know what else they have in it. So that's why I'm suggesting just the isopropyl isopropyl alcohol i haven't had any alcohol promise right so i'm just checking i didn't get the p i didn't do my cpr there you go so i'm just gonna go back and line that up again and do my p properly thank you so Okay, so now we need the B of my words. Um, what what new colors, Jane? What are you talking about? New colors? Uh, oh, crikey, Sarah! Maybe I should send you an email tomorrow rather than today. Then has anyone got the new Versafine Clear in colors yet? Ah, oh, hello, Sarah Gray. Uh, no, no, I don't. Don't tell me about such things. We were just saying how good I've been lately in the craft shop. Ha ha, she says, lies, lies, caught lines. If we were not Pinocchio, I would have a really long nose. Okay, so now I want the bee over here. It's little. And I'm going to line that up with the top of the page and i'm going to use the stronger i don't normally tap in but there we go it worked um be proud there we go mm -hmm. so now we have the be proud and i'm going to put that straight back where it belongs because it's going to go walk about otherwise. So there we go. Um, now 
I'm going to have the and I'm going to do it in the paradise. And I'm going to put that there. Okie dokie. Yes, Ida, um, these stamps are the most amazing quality. And it's a tiny little stamp, but it absolutely printed perfectly just on its own, even on this huge, enormous block. Um, let's do some CPR there. And let's not move that. There we go. So I'm just playing with these colors at the moment. Um, ah, Liz says they're only on pre-order, but she saw them on and said if popular, the colors may be sent instead. So I didn't order. I don't know. I'm confused. Don't get distracted, people. We're on Funky Fossil. Don't go running looking elsewhere. <laughs> now, now, children, we're all the same, aren't we? Shiny new things. Okay, so I have that and I have that. Now I need something to... What am I going to use now? So now, now, numbers. I always like numbers. Um, maybe I need to get out. What do I need to get out? I know. Whoops. Oh, I didn't check if these, if I'm allowed to use these yet or not. I think I can. Words to live by. Sarah, can I use words to live by? <laughs> um. Because because I really want to use this. What's the circle one? Called? Ah, yes, they are. Oh, goody. Thank you. I forgot to check before I put them on my desk. I think these were in your, um, in that pocket thing, pouch thing. Let's see if there's anything on here. You, uh... You are enough. Be thankful. Live in the moment. Create enemy. Choose happiness. Friends make the world beautiful. You color my world. How about you color my world? I like that idea. Um, because he's normally very colorful. But I don't know if I want another font on there. Hmm. Okay. Put that on one side. Um, what I did want out. On my squircles. These are circle marks by Art Journal, though. So you might. So one thing, Olga knew me for all of about five minutes. Literally, we we first met at a coffee shop. Well, we met at the stencil store, stamp store. There's where else do crafters meet up? Um, safe place. You know, we didn't know each other. We'd found each other on Facebook, internet. Uh, as fellow crafters and so we opted to meet at the craft store and um, then we went for coffee afterwards and I brought some of my art journals with me and um, she was looking through them and she said you do like sten um, circles don't you I said I do she said yes they're on every second page <laughs> so yes um, so now what I'm going to do is I am going to Use the verse fine clear, I think, down here. So I'm carrying on with my circle theme. Building layers, it's what I like to do. And I have a gap over here, so. And you don't always have to stamp the whole stamp. So I'm very carefully just going to make sure that my pages are lined up so that I don't stamp on the next page that I might be using. And I'm going to stamp there. There we go. I like that. Now I need this in three places. Hmm. 
easier said than done when you've got a whole lot of stuff already going on. I need to re-ink that because I've got leftover ink from my previous stamping. Um, Donna's asking Sarah if the new Muse are on sale yet. The Muse sold out and she has got them on a new order. Um, so, yes, Sarah does a lot of the sentiments herself. I can't be trusted with spelling. <laughs> so I think these are all researched and found by Sarah. They are really nice. Um, right, so now doing the same thing in this corner. Going off the top. Um, hello, Tabisa. Um, okay. Now I think I'll bring them in down here. I've got a little bit of ink left there, and that's probably all I need. Bring it off the bottom of the page here in towards the middle. Here we go. Perfect. So now it's starting to look a whole lot more balanced, and I like that. So you've got the two things going on there. And now I'm looking for my rag. Yes, there we go. Um, I hope you're sitting eating dinner, Sarah, while you watch this. Because Mr. G made a nice dinner. Because you have been packing up a storm, that's for sure. And I've just had this packaging. I give up, you know, I give up. Um, biscuits. <laughs> what are you like, Martin? Um, oh, Sarah's saying she's sorry about the cat. She didn't expect to have the shows on Monday, so didn't have a huge amount of stock. I thought there was plenty for a 7 a.m. show. <laughs> Yes, well, it's good to know that people shop at early hours on a Monday. And I guess it's a good way to start your day. Shopping up a storm of yummy things to play with. Um, yes, the boss is on the dark side. <laughs> oh, no, she's on, she's on YouTube. Is this the dark side? YouTube is YouTube the dark side. Um, so Ida crafty uh, craft knit so is Martin. I am going to put those away because I'm not going to use them. And what else can I use? So now I feel like I need some color. So let's get. My pencils out. Right, I have them all in colors because, well, it's me and I like colors to be organized in rainbow order. So let's just try and tidy up this desk. I say try. You know, the push back and clear. Let's be able to read Funky Fossil. So let's put that away. All right, let's try and be straight. Um, so, yes, Sarah makes her own stencils. So she can cut them at will. Um, Facebook is the dark side. <laughs> so far I'm seeing... All the comments, all of you have hopped over to um, to YouTube. I think I'm going to do some coloring in these circles. So let's go with peacock feathers because that's what um, is here already. So 
I'm just going to shade like little bubbles. Sarah actually has got the most amazing stencil. I was tempted to use it tonight in my circle fetish project. Um, it is actually bubbles. So and you it's in different layers, so you can have the shiny spot. I might just cheat and get that out and add that to my project. Oh, down here I'm going to need something darker. So let's go for Uncharted Mariner. It's maybe a little dark. I just won't press so hard. Where is my... What did I use here? Blueprint sketch. It's in a different box. Where are you, blueprint sketch? Um... So let's try Blueprint Sketch down here. Yes, that's better. That's why I like these pencil crowns because they match everything so nicely. Now, because I used a bit of this, I'm going to have to use it on all of them. Just a bit. It is very satisfying, Donna, to have color coordinated pencil crayons. Um, it definitely makes me happy, that's for sure. Okay, well, this is going to get rid of that anyway. Okay, let's just get rid of that there. Hello, Paul. What are the pencils called, please? These are Tim Holtz watercolor, distress watercolor pencils. And they come in all 48 colors. And yes, I got them all. They came out in three separate sets. So, um... I have them all, so I have the six sets. Right, I feel like I like to add shadows, so I'm going to go back to using the Uncharted Mariner up here. Um, I like to have my light coming from the right. It's just what I do. So if I'm going to add a shadow to something, I normally add it on the left-hand side and the bottom. So... Um, I don't have to think every now and again I change things up or the way things work out it changes but um, I say that because I was recording a class today and my color that I thought was going to be a lot lighter than it was I was a little bit too generous with it so what was going to be my light side became the dark side so that's life roll with it so I'm just using some Uncharted Mariner to do a shadow. It just makes the letters pop out of the page a little bit more. I went a little sharp there. I already, when I drew these letters, put the shading in for you with the dots. But um, that's on the letters. So the letters, quite often, you can get away with not shading them. But it's quite nice to actually give the letter a bit of a shadow so that it looks like a pipe with some dimension. It's just a personal trick I like to do. Um, so I'm just back to reading 
um, tempted to eat it. Sarah's asking if you have a carpet on your naughty step, Sarah Gray. <laughs> There's no time for her to be on her naughty step. Um, yes, just a normal sharpener works. Um, it's a very comfortable naughty step. <laughs> okay, so now I'm kind of happy with that page. Now I feel like he needs a little bit of work. So what am I going to do here? I know what I'm going to do. He needs some glitter. And what have I here? I have Stella paste. And I'm going to glam him up a bit. And I'm actually just going to, uh, am I going to? I'm going to start here with his body. And his face. And then I'm going to decide, do I want to glam the whole bird? Mm. Or do I want to just keep it to that center bit? Or do I want, I know, I'm going to put a little bit. So I'm going to have to turn this so that it's at the right angle. So if my light is coming from that side, this would be my highlight side. So we would have shine there and there. So on just one side of the feather, I think we will have the shiny side. Yes, I think that works. Okay, so now the sun would catch them from the top. So that just gets confusing, but roll with it. So we'll just have it at the top there, and then we will have it here. And then, of course, we can't just have glitz and glam on him alone. We need glitz and glam elsewhere. So on the shiny side of my squircles, I'm just going to add a little bit. Pleased as it was a big decision to bring it out. This is amazing stuff. I mean, you can use it through a stencil. Oh, I might just do that. Hmm. Um, you can use it through a stencil, which is kind of, you know, it's a paste. So that's what we instinctively do. But you can see I'm just using it with a paintbrush and it works just as beautifully. Um, I like the Wink of Stella because it takes on whatever color you have going. So now I've got it in three places. Okay. So I'll stop with that. I'm going to pop my brush in some water. And I have about 10 minutes left. Um, yes, it's water-based. So I have a jar of water next to me. And, um, oops, knocking things over. So there you can see it's clean. So it, it washes beautifully. Right. And because I put it on so thin, it should dry really quickly. And now I'm debating whether I should add it through a stencil. If I add it through a stencil, which stencil and where? I'm just going to give this a quick blast with my heat gun just to make sure that it is dry. It is so thin, so it will dry really fast. Um, so... So Crafty I Am, there's a whole range of these colors that Sarah has brought out. Um, so this one was in the large pot. And then 
Uh, oh, I can't reach the others now. Um, where have I put them? No, unreachable in my crafty chaos. Um, they came in half size pots with absolutely gorgeous colors. Um, one was called evening gown or evening dress, and yeah, really, really, really lovely colors. Okay, so what I do want to do is stencil around my edges with this one. This is how I like to finish off a lot of my pages. Um, and I know I haven't used black on this page. So let me see if I can stick to my blue. Um, I am going to... Let's see what blues I have. Mm. Okay. Let's use blue print sketch. And now I need another brush. There we go. I just need a little one. So that's what I like. They come in all different sizes. So I'm really just going to go. What I've done is I'm eyeballing so that my pattern is just straight across the top. And I'm going to do. There we go. Oh, I have a dirty stencil. So, of course, the black is coming off. Maybe I need to clean my stencil. Bad, bad girl. Let's clean the stencil. Clean the stencil. Then we have to clean the desk. Look at that. Should have just used the other side of the stencil. Anyway. Now we need okay. And line it up again ish. There we go. Now I'm on the naughty step. Didn't think I cleaned that far. Okay, so we bring it down here. And skip that corner because I've got stamps in that corner. And then we'll go up here. And then I'm going to call it done. And then I've gone off the page, off the screen. Over. Go around the corner. Because I just, I did say, so what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to put my hand underneath. And um, I can't remember where I started, but it's probably something like that. There we go. And finish off there. And do the same on the side. So I'm just going to put my hand underneath. Just have a little bit in the corner. Then it visually just carries on. And my bird needs some grounding. So I'm going to just grab the peacock. No, what is this one? Blueprint sketch again. And I'm just going to give him a little bit of a shadow. So much like I did over there. I'm just going to give him a bit of a shadow so that it's, he's not just floating on, on the page. Okay. 
Um, I love using the micro dots. I know they take a hundred hours for your little machines to cut, but they are, it's my favorite stencil. It's my absolute all time favorite stencil. I love using it as a border to finish stuff off. I do it on cards. As you saw now, I'm doing it on the journal page. The micro dots are definitely my go to for finishing things off. And right. And I'm just going to color in there as well because that's bothering me that it's lighter. Okay, I like that. This is a bit empty, but not every page has to be full, full, full. Um, it is linking the, the round with the round, the three, the framing with that, the stencil work. So I'm quite happy with how that has turned out and I'm going to call it finished. And to glue this, I'm literally going to run some glue all the way around the edge. Down there. And just a light wibble in the middle. The trick is then to grab both pages and line up your corners. So I'm just going to do that. There we go. So that is exactly what I do. And um, There we go. So now So you saw how much water that I used at the beginning and how flat my page is. My book hasn't gone wobbly. It's perfect. Absolutely fine. And yep, I really 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 enjoy working in these journals. So um <laughs> I know I've done a lot of lives lately in my journal, but I love it. It's my play, my place to play. It's my happy place. I hope you enjoyed that, guys. Thanks for staying. Thanks for all the ch chat. Sorry if I missed a whole lot of it. I'll have to go back and watch. Oh, Sarah, you didn't remind me. We're supposed to be giving a giveaway. <laughs> Not long now to my new collection. I know. I have another journal with. I have some pages done. <laughs> sneaky with my new stuff so there's going to be a giveaway who's going to do the draw there's two one for after watching back and one for today um sarah who usually does the the draw um tonight's prize and i forgot to mention it at the beginning um is an a5 stamp of your choice for those of you who are avid collectors there might be something you still want and don't have so um oh thanks sarah and um i'm just trying to see show please i can't show you yet but the 20 i think it's the 21st sarah i'm not sure the 20th or the 21st so it's coming it's just around the corner uh i didn't do it ali is the giveaway queen ali ali are you here uh otherwise i'll do the draw afterwards and um Put it in the group. I didn't do a draw. I forgot. But I remember just in time. Ali, I don't see Ali. So I will do a draw and um, put it in the group. <laughs> Sarah is a tease. Yes, my stamps have been ready forever. Oh, she is here. Georgina Wood. Yay! Round of applause, round of applause, Georgina Wood. Okay, so Georgina, can you message Sarah Gray? Um, it is the 20th, 
And we're doing a live on the 18th. That is right. That much I do know. And on the 20th, I will be watching you from the hairdresser. I can't remember what time. Do we have a time yet? Because um, I'm having my hair pinked on the 20th. I was having a panic that I wouldn't be able to make the live. And, of course, the live is uh, can't be the night of, of that. So, um, yes, it's on the 20th, Wednesday the 20th. So, well done, Georgina. Can you um, message, private message Sarah, and um, she can get your stamp of choice out to you. Thank you, Ali. You're awesome. And. 7 a.m. Oh my word! What's with the 7 a.m. and then midday? Okay, so your the shows are 7 a.m. and midday. Okay, well you know I will be watching, and I it's long before my hairdresser, so I will be there, um, in in the chat, and don't forget to email in people. They love that. So um, yes, Georgina, you need to go onto funkyfossil.com and choose your stamp set and let her know what you would like so that's all for me from tonight i hope you enjoyed that i had a lot of fun playing in my journal and that's what it's all about you try things you experiment with things you have kind of an idea about maybe how you'd like things to go and sometimes the ink or the whatever has another idea and you just move on um so bye for now